at Cincinnati, did it take a lot of convincing for you to come here? I mean, you're, you're a Cincinnati guy. I mean, well, it's Ohio State. Um, I know that. Uh, Quick story about that. When uh, when we had the opportunity to go to Notre Dame, we were staying in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's our home. My wife and I grew up two miles apart. We both went to the same high school that I was coaching at. Our kids went there, our families, our parents, everybody was there, which is not uncommon in Cincinnati. And uh, when, when Urban called, I called my wife and I said, hey, I just want to let you know I, I got this phone call today and, and you know, Kind of before I tell him no, I wanted to just let you know that. And she said, don't you tell him no. And I said, is that right? She said, well, first of all, it's Ohio State. And we grew up Woody Hayes and all of that stuff. Secondly, it's Urban Meyer. And she said, well, let's go do this. We can make it work. It's an hour and a half away. So it was uh, it's still hard. I mean, I, I love where I lived. I love what I was doing. But this is Ohio State. And this is these opportunities don't come along very often. Guys saying this week, and so you were there. I mean, there's nobody be probably better on staff to uh, let these players here know uh, how the Cincinnati players are viewing this game. What are they saying about in this? Cincinnati? Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm not in their locker room, I'm not in their meeting rooms. I, I am certain, uh, I think they are a very dynamic athletic team. I think they play very hard, and I think their coaches are going to have them incredibly well prepared. I don't, I don't think we should undersell the fact that it's to the two major universities in the state of Ohio playing against each other, and they've had great success over the last seven, eight years. And, and uh, you know, so I'm sure that their kids, uh, and they've got a ton of them from Ohio, uh, are going to be excited to play in this game, just as our kids are. And I think it'll be, uh, I think it'll be a special game. Front row, Bill. Yeah. Um, you are obviously a defensive backs coach, and defensive, the secondary struggled last year. This is the big test this year against your you know, former team. What's it like for you, that, that side of things, not just the motion, but the X's and O's of it? Well, th this is the best group of receivers that we've seen uh, this year, maybe the best group that we will see all year. This is a very dynamic quarterback. They spread the ball out. They throw it to all areas of the field. They're very fast, but they're, they've also got two tall guys on the outside, quick slot guys on the inside. I mean, they are the complete throwing package. And so we're going to be tested uh, like we have not been, other than going against our team in practice. And uh, so that's going to be uh, – that the challenge is significant this week. And what's it, what was it like at the end of last year for you uh, to be part of that struggling thing? And, and all offseason, that transition, what's that been like for you? Well, I think every, every – Experience in life builds an opportunity for growth and learning, and uh, you know nobody likes losing. I, we hate it here. We don't expect it to happen, and and so uh, I think that that was not pleasant. Uh, if losing becomes pleasant, you're probably going to lose a bunch. I, I think the off season has been a great opportunity for me personally to grow. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with Coach Ash. Uh, I, I think he brings a different perspective to the. Uh, to the game, to the defense, as does Coach Johnson. I think that's one of the great things about – one of the hard things about college football is that coaching staffs are always changing. One of the great things about co college football is that coaching staffs are always changing. So you get to meet a lot of people and, and learn a lot of things. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a great opportunity for me and, and our team and, and, and our environment to grow. Front row, Lori. Coach, Cincinnati has a player who 10 career touchdown catches. They average 31 yards a catch. It's kind of like Devin Smith with his knack for the long ball. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, when you're going up against something like that, how do you try to stop that? Well, I think, you know, I think that what makes them more challenging is they have a lot of guys. So if you, if in a game like this, if you focus too much on any one of their individual receivers, they're going to find other guys that are going to be open. I think that's one of the things they do very well, and I think it's one of the things the quarterback does very well. So, you know, we've got to try uh, to win individual matchups. We've got to try to adjust coverage for uh, appropriate uh, players and formations and settings, but I don't think we can spend uh, an in inordinate amount of time trying to defend one guy this week. I think that they have too many guys to be able to do that. I hope so. I mean, I think we practiced really well last week. Uh, I, I think our kids have, have really taken to the change and the difference uh, throughout the course of the year, but we have not been challenged like this, so it's going to be uh, – it's going to be great. I think it's, uh, you know, to me, it's fun. It's why you coach, and uh, I think our kids feel that way. So I think they're, I think our kids are, are going to be very well prepared this week. Did you in the bye week? Did you tweak?
tweak anything, adjust much of anything. Tigus Pilot talked about maybe a couple, you know, different coverages here. There's just got things you guys will work on. Did you do anything different to get ready for this team? I think you're gonna. I think each week presents opportunities for you to do things differently, and I'm sure not going to give away any secrets about what we did or didn't do last week, next week, or five weeks from now. But thanks for asking. <laughs> way it practices or the scheme or whatever that has you so charged up. But what is it that you think hits the nail on the head with this deep, with, with this group of players? Well, it's aggressive, and I think kids like being aggressive. I think coaches like being aggressive. I don't. It doesn't come without risk, but uh, you know, I, I like. That style of play, uh, it's it's it energizes me. I think it energizes our players. I think that they they look forward to that. And uh, you know, uh, those kids read the paper and all those kind of things too. And when people are calling you soft, who wants to be called soft? And uh, I think our players have responded extremely well to that. And uh, so I think that that's uh, I think they're excited about that. And I know that I am. Hey, with that said, you know, people were calling you all a lot of things at the end of the year last year. None so. of them very good either, yeah. Tim. How did you deal with that with your players? I mean, I mean, how did you? Uh, well, they're young men, and and you know, I've I've felt this way for a long time as a coach. It's the responsibility of the coach to stand in front of the train, not to put your players on the track. And uh, I don't think there's any reason why uh, those young people who are who are absolutely giving you everything they got should be exposed to. Um, that kind of criticism, but it is the world that we live in today. Uh, so, I, you know, I think we try to shield them from as much of that as we can and take on as much of it as we can personally. We're grown men, you know, and we should. And uh, I would try in every opportunity to talk with them about things that they can do to improve, but at the same time, I would never want one of those young people in this meeting room to feel like, it, you know, they're deficient or it's their fault or anything else when things aren't going well. Hey, one quick, uh, you heard what I asked Coach Hinton about high school football in yep. the Cincinnati area. Is that accurate? I mean, what, what, what's your take on why? I think so it's the best high school football in the world. I mean, I, I, you know, I, why would I think any differently? That's all I know. I, I coached high school football there for 24 years, and I think, it's, I think it's outstanding football because it's important to people. When you go to Cincinnati and you ask people where they went to school, they don't tell you what college they went to. They tell you what high school they went to, and they feel very attached to their high schools and their neighborhoods. And, there's, there, you know, that, that just is something that I've, I, I guess is unique to Cincinnati. I don't know because I've only lived two places. Uh, but uh, I, I, I think that people identify with their schools, and on Friday nights they identify with their football teams. And so you do get big crowds, and you do have – it is important to people there. And I think the coaching is, is uh, exceptional, and I think the players are extremely well – uh, prepared. Uh, it's 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 a lot of places. It's year-round programs. I've had a great opportunity now in recruiting to go see great high school football in lots of places in Texas and Florida and 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 uh, Georgia and and lots of great high school football. So now I'm learning. It's great in a lot of places, but Cincinnati I think is it's important to people and it's unique and and uh, so I think that's why they're successful. Two more questions, Bill. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Welcome to Columbus. Thank you. Uh, once you decided that you wanted to come to Ohio State, how, yeah. hard, was it you, how hard was it for you to tell Bush Jones to – Terrible. No, it was hard for me, hard for me to, uh, to tell anybody. I mean, that's, you know, that's my hometown, you know, and I grew up on the Reds and the Bengals and, and, and the Bearcats and, and all, but I also grew up on the Buckeyes. And so my hometown, my home state, you know, I mean, all of that is – Makes things hard, I think. So it was it was incredibly difficult. Uh, it wasn't an easy conversation on, on either one of our ends, and um, you know. But uh, and and I think it's hardest uh, to leave players and to leave kids that you recruited. There's a lot of kids I'm going to coach against uh, on Saturday that uh, that I recruited at university, and uh, I think that's that that part's difficult. Fun week for you or hard week? Hard, hard. Right, football's always fun. I don't have any days that aren't fun, Bill. But um, but it's harder. You know, but just for all those reasons, I think it's harder. One more. Can you reflect about what you guys accomplished at UC while you were there and what that means to you still? Well, you know, I, growing up in Cincinnati, the Bearcats were never really a focal point of the town, I didn't feel like, in all those years where the stadium wasn't really full and all that. And having been a part of the, the three years with Coach Kelly and, and the two years with Butch and seeing the stadium filled and winning the championships and going to the BCS Bowl games and being in that conversation was very exciting. It was, it was, a, it was a great time for me because I had been born and raised there. And I, and I think that 
um, that uh, Coach D'Antonio had started something there that, that just has been carried over, and, and I think that they are a, a force in college football. I really do. I hope that they can get in one of the big five deals because I think they're, they're a real force in college football and should be. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great university. It's a great part of the town, and, and uh, I think they're doing great things with the campus and the facility and all those things. And, and so it was, it was a good ride, Bill. It really was. It was, it was a really good five years. Guys who was recruited while you were at UC, Shaq Washington, the wide receiver. Um, what do you see for him that presents some challenges, and what do you remember about Shaq's recruitment while you're on the staff? Well, Shaq is an incredibly quick and athletic player. He's uh, fantastic in space. They do a great job of getting Shaq the ball. He's, you know, he's going to catch between seven and ten and twelve balls every game. Um, he, he finds open areas. He sits down in zones uh, very well. If you try to man cover him, your matchup is going to be difficult. Uh, I, I think that Shaq is a great player. I, I, I think he's one of a number of great skilled athletes that they have. Um, I think that we were excited to get Shaq when we were at Cincinnati. I think he was a dynamic player in the state. And uh, I think that he has fulfilled everything that we thought when we were at Cincinnati about his recruitment and what kind of player he was going to be, the energy he was going to bring to the program.